Hello and welcome back to our lecture series on Y parameters. So this is the fourth example that we're going to be looking at. And in this, I'm going to be showing you how to apply all of those uh, equations and formulas I showed you in the previous part of this video. So how you can apply it to answer just any question on the Y parameter. So before we start to solve this example, so I want you to take note of this. I forgot to mention it in the previous video. So just like we had it when we we're looking at Z parameter. So it's also the same thing for y parameter. If your y11 is the same thing as your y21, so then the network is said to be a reciprocal network. Then if your y12 is the same value with your y22, such a network is said to be a symmetrical network. Exactly. So just take note of this. All right, so now let's continue with this video. So this example, the question says, determine the admittance parameter of the following circuit. So like I used to say, question is saying that we should find the admittance parameter so you can see that the question did not tell you y parameter or short circuit parameter so if you don't know that a y parameter is something as admittance parameter you might get confused so that's why i keep emphasizing that need you need to know the different names that they call some of these parameters exactly okay so he said determine the admittance parameter of the following circuit so this is just how the question is yours is to now go ahead and find the admittance parameter. So now let's go ahead and do this. So just like I explained in the previous video, let's go ahead and draw the draw the circuit. Like I said, we are going to solve it just the same way we solve the z parameter. Then once we have gotten the value for our z parameter, we are going to convert that z parameter value into y parameter. So all of this I'll be showing you in this video. So let's continue. So, I've drawn out the circuits. So, this will be our V1 and this will be our V2. So, let's add the polarity this plus minus, plus minus. Here is 4 ohms and here is 2 ohms. And then this is also 2 ohms. Exactly. So, don't forget the polarity. This is our I1. I mean, the direction of the current and this is our I2. Alright. So, now let's put it in form of um. KVL. So let's pick our direction for this mesh using the direction of the current I1 and then here will be our I2. Okay, so based on the direction of the current now let's add the polarity to the resistors. So this is plus minus plus minus. So this will be plus minus plus minus. So what I'm applying here in solving the circuit is I'm using the concept of um, a mesh analysis that's sketch of voltage law like i rightly said earlier in another part of the video in the previous part i said you can decide to use either mesh analysis nodal analysis and um, any other uh, method any other circuit theory method that you can use exactly if you want to use superposition you are still going to arrive at the same answer exactly okay so having done this now let's apply um, kvl to each of the meshes so let me call this my mesh one my mesh one or let me call it my input input side so this is let me this will be my mesh two or i can call it my output exactly so now I'll say apply kvl to mesh one okay so in doing this now so let's start from v1 so from negative to positive so that will be v1 plus v1 then from positive to negative so in that sequence that will be minus 4 i1 then over here from positive to negative so that will be minus 2 i1 and then from positive to negative also due to current i2 that will be minus 2 i2 equals to 0 okay so let's simplify this we are having our v1 minus 6 i1 plus 2 i2 equals to 0 all right so let's move every let's move this to the other side of the equals to sign so that means our v1 will now be equals to 6 i1 minus 2 i2 so let's take this as our equation one so this is our first equation so let's also apply KVL 
to mesh two. Okay, so this is the mesh one. So in doing for mesh two, this is our mesh two. So let's go ahead using this. This is the direction like this. That's anti-clockwise direction. So let's start from the V two voltage source. So from negative to positive, that will give us positive V two. So that will be V two. Then over here, positive to negative. So that will be minus two I two. Then positive to negative here due to current I two. So that will be minus two I two. Then positive to negative here due to current I one. That will be minus two I one. So that's all for that particular mesh. Then equals to zero. So now let's rearrange this. So that means our V two minus two I one. Then we have minus two I two minus two I two. So that will be minus four I two equals to zero. Okay. So let's move this to the other side of the equals to sign. So that means our V two will be equals to two I one plus four I two. Okay. So what we are having here is our equation two. So let me also put that. All right. So this is our equation two. So the next thing is now, let's put it in form of z parameter. So if you have to put this in the z parameter with, our, with um, the knowledge you already have in z parameters based on the examples we've done on that z parameter. So we are going to be having something like this. So this will be our z11. This will be our z12. Why this will be our z to one and this will be our z to two okay so so one correction here this will be plus two are we good so let's click let me correct that and this should be minus this will be minus so once we come to that it comes plus two here so if you spot that earlier minus one all right so now let's put this in our z so in z parameter so that will be this will be six two two four are we good so that means our let me write it out times our z11 is equals to six z12 is equals to two and then our z21 is equals to two and then our z22 is equals to four exactly so this is to this then this is this this is due to this and this is due to this exactly so if you have if you've watched the z parameter um, video i believe you understand what we are doing here all right so now we have it the z parameter but the question is asking us to look for the y parameter so next thing for us is to convert from z parameter to y parameter so let's go back and check that um so this is the formula again to convert um z parameter to to y parameter so let me just copy this okay all right so so one thing we, we, we need now is we are converting from this z parameter we actually need it in y parameter so that means our y11 okay before we even write down the y11 let's go ahead and calculate the so to make the work much more easier let's calculate the, uh, the determinant of z so in getting the determinant of z that will be 6 times 4 minus 2 times 2 exactly so we are going to be having 6 times 4 minus so this is just matrix 2 times 2 and that will give us 6 times 4 is 24 and then 2 times 2 is 4 so that will give us 20 are we good so now we can go ahead and get the value for y11 and don't forget that means our y11 from here this is our y11 is z22 over the, um, and, um, the determinant of z so 
z22 over and then our z22 we're cutting it to be 4 so that will be equals to 4 over 20 and that will give us 1 over 5 so we've gotten our y11 one, one. so now let's get our y so let me do that here so for our y12 so that means our y12 this is it here so this is the formula in converting this to y parameter those that will be minus z12 over the determinant of z so minus z12 over determinant of z so that will be minus so let's see the value of z12 z12 to the answer is 2 so that will be 2 over 20 so that will be minus 1 over 10 so let's just leave it like that so now let's get y21 so for y21 so this is the position for y21 which is minus z21 over the determinant of z so that minus z21 over determinant of z okay so minus z i mean z21 now this is it it is 2 so that will be 2 minus 2 over 20 so don't forget the negative sign so that will give us minus 1 over 10 so now let's get y22 so for y22 this is it is z11 over the determinant of z z11 over determinant of z okay so what's our z11 our z11 is 6 so that was equals to 6 over 20 and that will give us um, 2 is 3 2 is 10 so that's 3 over 10 so with this now we've been able to answer the question because if you go back to the question the question is asking us to what determine the admittance parameters of the uh, following circuit so we've gotten the admittance parameter so the admittance parameters are all this so don't forget to add the units so this is for y11 so the unit is Siemens so let me use s so for y12 so like i said you can use any of this as the symbol okay and then this is for y21 so Siemens this is for y22 okay so if at all you want to put it in um in matrix so that means you are going to be having our i y will be equals to 1 over 5 for y then y12 is 1 minus 1 over 10 and then y21 is minus 1 over 10 also and then y22 is 3 over 10 okay so so that's just it and again if you also look at it you see that our y 1, 2, and y, 2, 1 are the same thing. And don't forget, we said when y, 1, 2 is equals to y, 2, 1, then such a network is said to be a reciprocal network. Exactly. So we can conclude that for this example one, the network we are having is a reciprocal network. Although the question did not ask us this, but you know, you might come across a question that will ask you something like this. So that is the essence of and the application of all of this. So that's the solution to example one. I hope you understand and got the concept. If you are here to, you might need to just watch the video again. It's a very simple process. You do your knowledge in Z parameters. You bring it here. Once you get it in Z parameter, apply the this formula to convert it to your Y parameter, and then you'll be fine. So if you have any question or doubt, just let me know in the comment section below. So we still have like two more examples you are going to be looking at under Y parameter. So I want to encourage you to make sure you watch them. Because as we go further, the example will be a little more, uh, not complex, but a little challenging than uh, the one we've just done. So with that, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like the video, share the video, and then I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.